see this smile? This smile cannot be wiped off my face. <laughs> I haven't been this perpetually happy for a long time. These mountains are really doing it for me. Oh, there's something about him. There's some magic out here. can't believe I'm actually here after an epically long day of travel. I'm standing here in the Himalayas and I couldn't be happier. The sun is shining, the sky is blue, the Nepalese people, everybody are so friendly and it's just like, I'm so happy to be back. So happy to be back. My goal today is to get to Namche Basar, which is a bit of a push, everybody I've told I'm doing that is like, ooh, that's long, man. You better be ready. This is so cool. Below me is a, a little bit of a bike track. You wouldn't think there's many bikes up in these mountains because it's just too gnarly. But these kids have got something good going on, just riding around in circles. If I lived here, that would be my, my go-to spot. This one for super good luck. It's huge. Namaste. Namaste. Being out here is, it hits you sometimes. It's kind of emotional. You just walk around and you're surrounded by total beauty. And you're like, God, this, the world is so amazing. I feel so lucky right now to be here, to be right here doing what I'm doing. Now on a really high suspension bridge, holy moly. <laughs> We're so high, there's another suspension bridge below this, and that one's high. Whoa. I cannot imagine how hard it is to carry one of those baskets full of Everest beer. That is a lot of weight. Like my backpack weighs nothing in comparison. And I'm struggling up this hill. These guys are monsters. This place is like paradise. There's fountains and all the houses are beautiful and brightly colored and the mountain backdrop. Jeez, I would never have expected this. This is incredible. Now I just gotta choose a hotel. There's a million of them here. Oh yeah! Uh, this is my view. I'm so psyched. Look at that. There's you! <laughs> Hi! Hi! <laughs> oh, everybody here is so friendly and cute. What's your name? Uh, NG. NG. Yeah. Nice to meet you. This right here, my friends, is dalbat. It is the traditional food all over Nepal. Lentils and rice, and usually some other vegetables. And I'm very excited. Hello. Hi. <laughs> what is your name? Chilamushepa. Ah. Kitchen. Hmm? <laughs> <laughs> As they get higher and higher, more mountains present themselves. This is just incredible. Absolutely incredible. Definitely goes down as one of the best sunrises I've ever seen. I can't think of any other place on this planet right now that I'd rather be than right here. Look at this view where I'm eating breakfast right now. 
Not a bad spot, huh? Right now I'm going over my map and it's exciting. I love going over maps, whether I'm on a bike ride or hiking or whatever. The thing you want to be careful of right now is you don't want to go too fast. Like if this was not at altitude, I could plow through this in a few days, but you really got to be careful about altitude sickness. You know what I'm saying? So you want to go slow, acclimatize, just chill out, which is sometimes hard for me because I love just putting my head down and bam, powering. <laughs> This is what I love about staying at these tea houses in Nepal. You just quickly become part of the family. You're all hanging out in the kitchen. It's all cozy and warm and life is good and you get to hang out with people like this. Look at you. Yes. <laughs> I'm just waking up and check out my view. Wow, that's so cool. Yes, big breakfast. Oh, big breakfast looks so good. Thank you. Ready to trek. <laughs> bye bye. Thank you so much. Bye bye. Namaste. Namaste. Oh, watch out. Hi guys. Namaste. 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 Okay, namaste. Donation? Uh, yes, the donation. This making raw donation. Okay. Oh, okay, thank you very much. Bye bye. Bye bye. In case you're wondering which way to turn these prayer wheels, this one has instructions. Made it all the way back down to the river. Pretty easy downhill, but that only means one thing. I gotta go all the way back up. <laughs> okay. These prayer wheels are powered by water. I love it. They're just spitting out the good vibes. Top speed. I got to the top of the mountain here and there's a monastery and it just blows me away that there's civilization this far out in the middle of nowhere. Imagine the life living up here. Might get a little lonely, but man, you got the best of mother nature all around you. Okay, I'll try the chocolate cake. This is definitely one of those moments in life where you just have to pinch yourself. Yes, this is real. This is really happening. I'm eating chocolate cake on top of the world. I got to my destination pretty early today, around noon. So I'm just gonna go cruise around. Looks like there's a trail that goes up. Oh my God, I have this place all to myself. Definitely worth the effort to get up here. This is the most epic place I've ever been. And I've been to a lot of epic places. I just can't get enough of this. Every day Nepal is surprising me with, with beauty. Not just, you know, 
landscape beauty, but people, everything. I'm like overwhelmed right now with emotion. I'll never forget this moment. For the rest of my life, I'll always think back to this being like one of my very happy places. Sitting here all alone, perfect temperature, admiring the beauty of planet Earth all around me. This really is, this is everything you could ever dream of, you know? All right, it's another beautiful morning, a little colder than the past mornings, but uh, God, when you walk outside and just see this beauty, it doesn't matter how cold it is, you just get all psyched up. All right, spun a prayer wheel, sun is shining, sky is blue, it's gonna be another beautiful day. Today I'm heading toward Dinboche, which really isn't that far. But once again, I don't want to go too fast because that's where you get into trouble with altitude sickness. So I'm just going to chill out for the next few days, not push it too hard, and just enjoy this beautiful scenery. I mean, I'm on one of the most beautiful treks on the planet. I can't imagine being hunched over like that with a freaking door on my head going uphill at altitude. Come here, yeah, come here. If you want to go the exact perfect speed, go yak speed. Just get behind one of these trains and just cruise. These things right here are really cool and they're all over the place up here. And what they are is essentially a solar cooker. It takes all the sun's energy, puts it right into that pot and you get boiling water and you don't have to burn wood or burn yak poop to make it happen. Daniel, a lot. A lot. Hey buddy. Hey. <laughs> we saved it. He didn't yeah. get it. That horse really tried hard to get my lunch, but he didn't get it. He's coming back for more. Nobody. No. no, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you got to share here in Nepal. No, out of here. <laughs> it's only noon. I've already eaten lunch. I'm done for the day, essentially. And I'm going to go cruise around, see if I can get on top of this hill up here and get a nice view of all the mountains. So these little hikes I've been doing after lunch have been really good for acclimatizing my body to the altitude. Almost there, jeez. Yes! For the past few days, I think, wow, it can't get any more beautiful than this. And then every single day, it does. It gets more and more beautiful. Here I am sitting on top of a, a hill. I don't know if it's a mountain. 5,100 meters, probably 16.5 or something. I'm not good at math. And I'm looking at some of the most epic mountains in the world. Oh boy. All right, it's another beautiful day. It's another cold day. I can't wait for that sun to come up over the mountains. Brrr. But I'm looking at the mountains near me and they're all covered 
with sun, so I know it's out there. You know, being alone is awesome. The main thing I wish, I wish I had somebody to cuddle with because it's freaking cold at nighttime. <laughs> It's amazing when you're at these altitudes and you stop, you can feel your heart just boom, 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 boom. It's working overtime. <sighs> all right, looks like I'm here. There's a whole world of Karens, all these stacked up rocks everywhere. So beautiful. Wow, life is good. This is such a great feeling. This is the highest I've ever been. Oh, and I earned this one. This one was a little bit tough. Feeling good though. And what's cool is to think that there's not many people on this planet right now that are higher than me, except for people in airplanes. That's kind of fun to think about. That's where I was. And we came up here. Frozen water, come on. Well, I was gonna get drinking water there, but it's frozen. <sighs> this is how we stay warm at the lodges. We hang out right next to the Yak Dung fireplace. Oh, thank so, you. So you Welcome. Yep, here. Mm. This is Tibetan bread, and it is the best thing in the world. Once again, it's an absolutely beautiful day. Thanksgiving day. Today I'm not walking alone. I'm going with my two new friends, Sonia and Wolfi. And we're gonna have, we're gonna have ourselves an amazing day. Amazing day. The goal today is to go up and over Kong Mala Path and get to a town called Lobushe. The guidebook says about six to seven hours. So, I usually never take that long, so it shouldn't be too brutal of a day. <sighs> nice way to spend Thanksgiving. See this smile? This smile cannot be wiped off my face. <laughs> I haven't been this perpetually happy for a long time. These mountains are really doing it for me. Oh, there's something about it. There's some magic out here. There's definitely some magic out here. The pass is way up there. You can see these little ants, these little humans walking up. And uh, that's pretty much it. That's the big bad Kong Mula Pass. There's a couple dogs here, just having the time of their lives. They look as tired as we do. Oh boy. You guys ready for this? Yay! <laughs> there we go. It's the Thanksgiving March. <laughs> Up, 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 up. Oh, yeah. 
Yes, we did it. Holy crap, we did it. Uh, time to celebrate Thanksgiving. Woo! Every day, like I say, the view keeps on getting better. Stunning. Great way to celebrate Thanksgiving. I'm definitely full of thanks right now. Very grateful. Happy Thanksgiving! <laughs> Get the turkey out! I'm hungry! <laughs> oh, more Thanksgiving dinner! <laughs> With every step I took today, I try to think of all the things I'm thankful for in life, and there's so much. And to be sitting here right now, doing what I'm doing, is, is pretty incredible. So I'm definitely eternally grateful for the life that I lead, but also grateful for my friends and my family in the town that I live in, and just uh, for my body, for health, for being strong, for being able to come here and walk up and down these mountains and uh, feel good at the end of the day. <sighs> this is definitely a Thanksgiving I'll never forget. You know, technically, I'm alone, and Thanksgiving is about being with friends and family, but uh, I feel, my heart feels very full right now. It feels like I'm with everybody in spirit. And I got to make new friends today and teach them about some Thanksgiving customs, which was cool. Thank you, life. Thank you, planet Earth. Thank you, beautiful humans. Thank you, beautiful yak. <laughs> Good morning, my friends. It is another beautiful day here in Himalayan paradise. <laughs> uh, slept well last night. Leaving Lobuche now, heading toward Gorak Schlep, getting off the Three Passes Trail and going on to the Everest Base Camp Highway. So it's probably gonna be a little bit more crowded, which is, which is cool. That just means more friends. I'm really excited to see Everest up close. I've seen it from far away but never up close. And it's such an iconic mountain. And I have a handful of friends that have been up it. I want to see it with my own eyes. This is by far the most amount of trekkers I've seen. And it's mainly due to the fact that this is Everest Base Camp. And it's like the marquee thing. Everybody wants to go and do this. And I chose the Three Passes Trek so I would avoid the huge crowds. So today is really the only day where it's gonna be crowded, but it's even not that bad. Ah, it's a little bit windy up here. Ah! What's really amazing is that this is just a giant glacier. So every now and then you'll see pockets where the ice is exposed. Here we are, Everest Base Camp. This is where my buddy Michael Brown has spent a lot of his life. Huh. I don't know how in the hell you could fit hundreds of people up here in tents. It does not look comfortable. <laughs> wow, when you stand here where so many hundreds, thousands of people actually, from all over the world have tried climbing that bad boy and gone up and down and many have lost their lives in the pursuit of this dream they've had. It's a pretty powerful place right here. 
Oh, wow. I'm really glad that I made the trek up here. I originally wasn't going to do it. It's not technically part of the three passes trek, but uh, I'm definitely happy. Definitely happy to be here. This is quite the spot. This hill behind me is Karapatar. It's like 5,500 meters, so what, like 16,000-ish feet? So when I was down at base camp, I was totally wrong. I wasn't looking at Mount Everest. Mount Everest is that darker one right there. That's the big boy. It was totally hidden at base camp. <laughs> Got it now? Hi there, I'm in my bed here in a town called Zongla. So today, I'm gonna have to give you a little recap because my dumbass filmed everything in slow motion, which means there's no audio. So this morning, I woke up in Gorak Slep, whatever you call it, and it was a brutal long night. And uh, headed back through Lobuche, and then from there, with my new buddies, Oscar from Mexico and Augie from Bulgaria, and we made our way through the Kumbu Valley. It was really windy in the morning and very uncomfortable. Um, but then all of a sudden the wind just stopped and it was epic, it was beautiful. And we made our way through a new valley that we hadn't seen before to this town called Zongla. And we got off of the Everest base camp trail, so that meant we lost a lot of the tourists, which was great. The scenery, I mean, I keep saying it, but it keeps on getting better and better and more and more stunning. And then we <clears throat> showed up in this town called Zongla. I can't even call it a town. It's like five little hotels. Beautiful sunshine, patio, had an awesome lunch. And now I'm in bed again and it's cold as hell. These rooms definitely aren't heated. And uh, nighttime here is definitely my least favorite part. Day, daytime is great, but nighttime is just brutal. You lay in bed for like 12 hours trying to sleep and it's just cold and you're shivering and not my favorite part, but you know what, you gotta earn, you gotta earn the beauty, you gotta earn this trek. And uh, for me, the, the nighttime is really where I kind of suffer. So it can't just be easy. If it was easy, you know, it wouldn't be that magnificent. It wouldn't be that beautiful. Today is going to be a good day. It's going to be a big day. When I was home planning this trip, I marked this day as probably one of the hardest for me. We're going to deal with altitude, probably 18,000 feet. We're going over Chola Pass and some technical conditions, going over an icy glacier, route finding, all that fun stuff. So let's see what the day looks like. Oh, hey, look at that. Looks pretty good. I'm just gonna warm up in the lodge, eat some breakfast, then we're gonna be on our way. This is by far the best meal I've had at any of these tea houses. The hash browns with egg. So damn good. It's windy for sure today. Oh my god! Ah! I'm continually inspired by the beauty around me, keeps me going. It's a pretty inspiring place to be. Picking up altitude quick. I came from right down here. I carried these for two weeks. Spent seventy dollars on them, so I'm gonna use them. Yeah, look at that. Woo -wee.
That's where I just came from. Super sketchy. I think I'm done with the glacier now. I would usually hang out on the top of the mountain and enjoy the views, but today it's just too damn cold and windy, so I'm going straight down. All right, I think I'm out of the danger zone for now. It's crazy to think I came down that. It doesn't look like it's possible. It's just like straight down loose rock field. <sighs> Good job, Ryan. Hi, buddy. Where'd you come from? Lead the way. You know where this river's going? It's going downhill. And that's where I'm going, and that also means that I'm leaving the high, high altitudes, which makes me very, very happy because sleeping the last three nights at high altitude, for lack of a better word, has really sucked. You're just gasping for air, it's freezing cold, just no good. There's a reason why humans live at lower elevations. Yak cheese, check it out. All right, so we're looking at the glacier and I found my favorite German. Yeah. And Italian. And Italian. So much fun. So much fun. Hey buddy. Hey. Hey. This landscape is out of this world. Wow. You can hear the glacier melting. Water running. Damn, good job guys. Oh. We did it. Woo. We did it. <laughs> oh. I go for a swim now. Yeah. yeah. Cool off. Oh, I forgot my bathing suit, sorry. <laughs> I've never been so happy to see a little village. There's Gokyo. Right there. Right there, lakeside. Ah, oh, nice long day. Woo! Woo -wee. Today is the day we go over the third of three passes, Renjo La. And uh, I'm excited about that. Actually, I'll show you out my window kind of where we're going. We're going up over that way. The key to me not getting altitude sickness is drinking tons of water. Makes you pee a lot, but it's worth it. This is Team Mexico, Bulgaria, America. The dream los, team. Los tres amigos. I'm not usually a porridge eater in the States. I don't even think we use the word porridge, but here, this stuff is so good. It is. An absolutely beautiful day. There is no wind. It's warm. We're all feeling strong. Life is good. <sighs> There's the pass. Zig, 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 zig. Yeah. I have not. Breathe this hard in a long time. Wow. Yeah, Augie! How you feeling, bro? Good. Very good. <laughs> what do you love most about these mountains? The air. It's so crisp. And um, it's so thin that you have to walk slowly. And when you walk slowly, you kind of feel how you feel from the inside. If you walk too fast, you feel like you're going to get a heart attack. So <laughs> that's, uh, I think you, you have those limitations so you find your internal balance very easy
Oh, we did it. Woo, we did it. That was a tough one. Namaste. 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 Everest definitely looks the tallest from here. It is a monster. Oh, it feels really good to be here. Planning this trip at home, looking at the maps, looking at the photos. I didn't really know what to expect. And uh, it's been just absolutely mind blowing out here. The mountains, the landscapes, the people, everything has been perfect. I love you, Nepal. And at times it's been really tough and challenging and physically difficult and mentally difficult. And it just feels good to accomplish something like this, you know? Because you don't get to do stuff like this every day. This is why it's so special, you know? Who knows when the next time I'll be here. So right now I'm just sitting here in the sun, enjoying life to the fullest. Que onda, amigo? Chocala. Good job. How do you feel? I'm f I feel fine. Very tired, but happy to be here in the last pass, man. With that beautiful... What's your name? My name is Tenzin Chopal Sherpa. My name is Nuru Tendup Sherpa. Oh, you guys are the best. Yeah. High five. Oh. And What's your name? My name is Ryan. Ryan, nice See. name. Thank you. Namaste. 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 We've made it all the way down to Tame, and it's the first real village we've seen on the entire trek. All the other places we've stayed are just kind of like seasonal places for trekkers. But in this village, there's kids and farmers and yaks and real life going on. So it's a lot of fun Namaste. to experience. Namaste. And what an incredible day. Namaste. <laughs> <laughs> this place is paradise. I can't imagine being a kid and growing up here. I think it'd be a pretty healthy place to be. No cars. No nonsense, no crime, just pure nature. Ah, yeah. Slept well last night, felt really good. I think it's because of uh, the low altitudes, you know what I'm saying? Ah, nice cozy lodge. This is what most of the tea houses look like. A nice room with a lot of windows and one of these. An oven or a fireplace. They burn the uh, yak dung in there to keep everything warm. Check out the view from this place. Insane. What you just get there? Get some fresh cheese. <laughs> yak cheese? Fresh neck cheese. <laughs> so Tibetan bread is kind of like a pancake and a donut mm. all in one, covered in honey. Mm. Bye. 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 Have a nice day. <laughs>
What do you say we head down to uh, Namche? I think it might be time. I feel more alive down here. There's more oxygen in the air. It's a little bit warmer. There's more life. There's birds. <sighs> Yeah, it should be here, and you, there's pollen paper, paper, uh -huh. plastic, the pinnies, all, 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 the Broke. all the pinnies, and every mm. time, uh -huh. then all the bracken, and mm. pinnies, all the pinnies, pinnies, all the bracken, mm. bracken, bracken, this right. way, this way, was, now the only two hours, quick. Two hours hour. only, okay. Two hours. This is a great way to end off a tough trek going up and over the three passes. It was pretty difficult, but this is a nice, beautiful, oh easy, okay, somewhat downhill trek all the way back into Namche. And it just gives you time to reflect on the past couple weeks and all the experiences and all the beauty, the sleepless freezing cold nights, the friends, everything. This is just, there aren't many places on the planet like this. I'm pretty lucky to be walking around right now in one of the most beautiful places on earth. Ah, these forests smell so good. Like Christmas. It smells like Christmas time in here. What do you think about all this? Majestic. Incredible. Breathtaking. Bread giving. <laughs> <laughs> Bread giving is probably a better way of saying it, but it's really truly impressive. We've made it all the way back to Namche, where the adventure began. We did it, brother! We did it! How you feeling? Amazing. Oh, uh, man! Life is good, isn't it? It's amazing. It's amazing. I can't tell you how nice it's been to not have any sounds of traffic, there's no cell phones ringing. It was just pure nature for about two weeks, you know? And I met so many new people from around the world. I got to see sights that will forever be ingrained in my mind. The mountains, the rivers, the glaciers, absolutely incredible. I remember planning this trip months ago, wondering what it was all gonna look like as I was checking it out on a map. And I saw photos, of course, but it's, you just don't really get to see and experience what it's like until you're here and you feel it and you taste it and you have the cold wind in your face. Ah, it really is just amazing. Nepal is a place that's always had a very special place in my heart. And uh, coming back here for the third time now really solidifies the fact that I absolutely love this country. And uh, I'll be back for sure. I love it. Now I'm going to go down to Namche, take a hot shower. It's been a while. I probably stank. <laughs> you know, I've been all around the world to many places that I love dearly, but there's something about Nepal that is just, it's just magic. That's it. There's no words for it. I think it's these mountains.